Hola. So, I made a video earlier today, but I am going to make another one because I got this in the mail from yesterday. And, uh, I think it's finally time to express my opinion about these magazines. And as you can already tell by my tone, it is not positive. So, here's my Seventeen story. I subscribed to Seventeen magazine when I was 13. Me and my best friend, we'd read them all the time. We'd call each other and go through pages and pages and every every month we were just waiting for Seventeen, you know, like, that's your, that's what helps you grow up pretty much, like, it teaches you about boys and, you know, fashion and all sorts of stuff and I'm so angry, like, I can barely talk. Um, but, you know, you read Seventeen when you're a kid because that's how you kind of turn into a woman, pretty much, by society's standards. And, um, so I had had it since I was 13, and, um, they kind of got bad over a while. Kind of not as fun, I guess, anymore. Um, yeah. <laughs> the celebrities were changing, and... Either I didn't know who they were, or I just didn't really care. And this past year, I can honestly say I have never hated a magazine, including Playboy magazine, as much as I hate Seventeen. And you guys gotta understand that I loved Seventeen, like, and that's how I stopped being like a slumpy dresser and lost weight and like I loved reading the OMG things and I mean it was fun and I liked it a lot and now it is absolute BS <laughs> and if I cussed on my channel oh boy I would be a sailor. <laughs> I am so furious at the blatant raging sexism in these stupid magazines. <sighs> I don't think, well I know, that Seventeen is aware that young vulnerable girls read these magazines. These magazines shape girls into what society wants them to be. Let's just call it as it is. If in movies and in, you know, daily life, you know the name Seventeen, especially when you're a teen girl. And, uh, that used to be fine, you know, cute outfits and, and makeup stuff, there's nothing wrong with that. That's fun, that's why I liked it in the first place. But now, it's just so crazy that, um, that the role models they pick are these women, women, loose word, loose word. Last, either the last month or the month before, it was Kesha. Now, these women on the Seventeen magazine, this cover is a prized thing. This is a place of honor. You are successful in the teen girl world if you are on the cover of Seventeen magazine. Kesha was on the cover of Seventeen. I like Kesha as much as the next girl. I think she's fun, and I will dance and know most of the lyrics to every song, which is wrong, and I should probably look at that. Kesha may be cool and fun, but as a role model, to be on this position and to be put in a different light than what she really is, let's just let's just call it as it is. Kesha is a drunk. All right, we all know Kesha's an alcoholic. She she has no problem with admitting that about herself, and her lyrics are not uplifting in any way for a role model position. Now that I'm famous, you're up my anus. That's a lyric, and you know she talked about dying young and not caring about the consequences of life and that's what everyone's having like everyone is taking carpe diem to the extreme like i'm gonna get drunk i'm gonna mess around i'm gonna sleep with all these people because in the end it doesn't matter when i have you know herpes <laughs> or aids and uh, a ruined reputation and no self-respect that's what they don't tell you in these songs and Kesha is a perfect example of those songs you know it first started out kind of harmless with like your love is my drug you know that's fun but I mean as a role model there's no way I want to live my life like Kesha so the fact that she's on the cover of Seventeen magazine for the second time 
little off-putting, but this took the beepin' cake. <laughs> um, okay, I don't know if you guys know about this upcoming movie, Spring Breakers. I'm so mad <laughs> that this movie exists. Um, back in the 80s, the the girl movies that you could watch about fun teenage times is like Sixteen Candles, The Breakfast Club, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Those are fun coming of age movies where yes, things happen, but not to the extreme like this. Not where there's threesomes and nudity and all and and cocaine. <laughs> okay. Um I'm so sick of these movies coming out, folks. Like, uh, the 21 and over movie that's coming out, Ted. Um, I hate comedy and coming-of-age movies. Perks of Being a Wallflower is a great movie. That is the only coming-of-age movie I've watched in the past, in my whole high school life, that I feel like is true. Um, this movie is about these girls who want to do something bad, and they steal, and, you know, they go to shirtless, they sleep around, and they do drugs. And it's so much fun. That is the ideal spring break. What the crap? Just read a book. Stay home and read a book if that's what you're tempted to do. Don't go out. You're a moron. Okay. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. All of the girls in this movie are from Disney. And that is because they have such freaking low self-esteem that they know that they'll never be able to be a great actress like Anne Hathaway, Natalie Portman, um, you know, um, oh, what's her name, what's her name, what's her name, Helena Bonham Carter, uh, you know, Michelle Williams, those are great actresses that have taken on extreme roles, you know, Black Swan, heavy movie, heavy movie, which has sex in it. But it's not like this. These girls are trying their hardest to be taken in a different light than the cute little Disney princess thing. You know who did that and succeeded without taking off all her clothes and being a slut? Anne Hathaway was a princess and she has aged gracefully. Look at her, look at her now. I mean, really, yes, she has had some movies that are bad, but as your first movie breaking from Disney, are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? And the fact that she's on this on this cover for girls who are 13 years old and 15 and 16 and 17 and 18 and any age and saying, hey, come see my movie, come see my movie, it's a good movie, where I am, you know, sleeping around with James Franco and someone's doing crack on my boobs. Yeah, that's real entertainment. And then she goes as far to say that, um... That her role models are Natalie Portman and Michelle Williams, and she hopes to get an Oscar. If you get an Oscar, I will kill myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I know that, you know, I'm taking it to the extreme, but people like you do not deserve an Oscar. To tell girls that it's okay to watch this movie where women are used as objects, as a sex toy, and that it's going to be all okay in the end. Like, it's just a movie. It's just entertainment. No, it's freaking not, and you know it. You all know it. And the fact that Seventeen is, like, putting her on the cover and saying, you know, she's a great mo role model. She's a real woman. She's an independent woman. Get over yourself. Why don't you do someone who matters? Someone who's actually contributing. This is not contributing to anything. And if you put Rihanna on the cover after getting back together with the man who beat her, and if you put, I mean, if you're going to put the girl from Fifty Shades of Grey on the cover or anything like that, that's what I'm going to expect because it's just going downhill from here. We need women who respect themselves, who respect others, and who do better for the society instead of just trying to break their mold. If you want to be taken seriously, freaking do something productive. Instead of doing this, where you're taking off your top and you just want to sleep around and you're letting men use you. Do you know how many of us are trying to get that to go away? You are not helping, Seventeen. You are not helping. You are supposed to be the beacon of life for all these girls who are looking for something to look up to, and instead you're giving them this. Congratulations.
I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. And I mean, it's not just Seventeen. The Big Bang Theory is so freaking sexist, I can't even. Like, the, the main girl, Penny, everything she says, everything that comes out of her mouth is trash. She just wants to sleep with people. That's all she's there for. Leonard and her have no relationship because of who they are. He's smart and she's dumb. And that's fine. And she's attractive because she's dumb and she can, you know, show her boobs as much as she wants. And I may be insulting some people here, but I thought that, you know, the world was trying to get over sexism and misogyny and instead we just seem to be progressing more in it. I mean, this is... <laughs> This is something that's supposed to be feminist. This is for girls. And it's against girls in its own way. So, there's my rant. If you want to see Spring Breakers, go ahead. And just know that if I find out that you watched that movie, I have no respect for you. Because it's just outrageous. You're giving money to people who don't value people. That doesn't make any sense to me. And if someone from Seventeen is watching this, I just want you to know that, yes, you lost me as a customer, and that's no big deal because I'm just one person, but by God, I'm going to try my hardest to make you realize how awful you are becoming. And I will do everything in my power when I become whatever I'm supposed to be to not be like you. You used to be my role model, and now I model myself the exact opposite of how you want me to be. You know, I'm not going to take your hookup tips. I'm not going to be sleeping around and just letting people use me because I have breasts. Okay? And I'm just quitting with all of this. I'm so sick of the sexism. You know, just because women can vote now doesn't mean that we're okay. Because we're not. And apparently society is still very against us, so... If you want to stand with me on this, and I know I'm coming across as aggressive, but I'm just so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired of people just using us. And it's not just because I'm a woman. Like, if men were being in this light, I would be angry too. I don't like watching things of Channing Tatum taking his shirt off. He's a person. He's not an object. It's not just because I'm a woman, it's because I'm a human. And I want humans to be treated fairly and justly and not as a thing. So that's where I am. And um, I would encourage all of the people who are watching this to not watch Spring Breakers and not subscribe to Seventeen and maybe even forward this video to any of the people involved because I want them to see this. And if you want to make a video response on how you feel about the sexism that is just raging right now, that would make my day. <laughs> and um, I've always been kind of seen as aggressive about this and annoying, but I don't really care how other people see me because I know where I am and I know where I, I'm supposed to be and it aligns perfectly. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> Hopefully next time won't be such a doozy. Bye.